Good morning, class. Today we want to take chapter one on our Magic Treehouse books. I sent these home for you. You should have them. Uh, so I'm not going to put them under the screen and, and follow along. I'm going to read to you. You read your book. We're in Magic Treehouse, The Dinosaur Before Dark, chapter one, Into the Woods. Help, a monster, said Annie. Yeah, sure, said Jack. A real monster in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Run, Jack, said Annie. She ran up the road. Oh, brother, thought Jack. This is what he got for spending time with his seven-year-old sister. You notice they're developing, developing character here. We already know the names of the two main characters. We've already found out a little bit about them. Annie, she's seven years old, and she likes a lot of make-believe. I hope you caught that. A monster, a monster. And Jack's like, oh, brother. And so you see Jack's not too into monsters and make-believe. Annie loved pretend stuff, but Jack was eight and a half, and he liked real things. Watch out, Jack, the monster's coming, said Annie. Jack didn't say anything. Come on, Jack, I'll race you, said Annie. No thanks, said Jack. Annie raced alone into the woods. Jack loved, I'm sorry, Jack looked at the sky. The sun was about to set. Now they're developing the setting. The sun setting tells you that it's when? In the morning or in the afternoon? Yeah, probably late in the afternoon here or evening. The sun is about to set. Come on, Annie. It's time to go home, yelled Jack. But Annie didn't answer. Jack waited. Annie, he called again. Jack, Jack, she shouted. Come here, quick. Jack groaned. This better be good, he said. Jack left the road and headed into the woods. The trees were lit with a golden late afternoon light. Come here, called Annie. Annie was standing under a tall oak tree. Look, she said. She pointed at a rope ladder. It was hanging down from high in the tree. Wow, Jack whispered. At the top of the tree was a tree house tucked between some branches. That must be the highest tree house in the whole world, said Annie. Who built it, asked Jan. I've never seen it before. I don't know, but I'm going up, said Annie. No, we don't know who it belongs to, said Jack. Just for a teeny minute, said Annie. She started up the ladder. Annie, come back, said Jack. But Annie kept climbing. She climbed all the way to the tallest branches. We're finding something else about Annie. Oh, she's not only got a great imagination, but she's always curious and wants to and take on adventures. Jack sighed, Annie, it's almost dark. We have to go home. Annie disappeared inside the treehouse. Annie, Jack called. Jack waited a moment. He was about to call again when Annie poked her head out of the trail's window. Books, Annie shouted. What? Jack said. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I built a big, huge treehouse, I'd have all sorts of fun stuff in there. I don't know if I'd fill it full of books. What, said Jack? It's filled with books, said Annie. Oh, man, Jack thought. He loved books. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He gripped the sides of the rope ladder and started up. And that's where we'll stop for today.